Hi, welcome to our channel. I'm Tiffany. And I'm Hugo. We're Sell Quick, Ship Quick, part-time resellers. Full-time hustlers. And today we wanted to share how to make money from your home. While selling on eBay. And we have been selling together since January of 2018. And you were... I've been selling since, uh, I think it was like summer of 2017. Um, but I did open the account like 2011. But that was just to like buy things. Like end of the year, you were selling some things here and there. January 18, we started to sell more consistently together with a plan. Yeah, there was a system and that really makes a difference. And that's our part-time income and we say that because we do have full-time jobs. Um, I am a financial aid director for a school, instructor for the same school. Yep. Uh, we have a personal training business together and then we also help out with my family's restaurant. So reselling was just extra income to help. Cut down on debt. I mean, we've had debt from credit cards and school debt, so. We wanted to take reselling and help pay that off. Um, and so just to give you kind of a point of reference for the potential you can make selling part-time um, our total sales on eBay since we've started together and this is just our gross numbers uh, we've made a hundred eleven thousand four hundred ninety four and two cents <laughs> so that was our gross sales that doesn't count the fees the shipping the cost of goods but Returns, you know all that happens but it is a lot for us in the last two years and that money the money that was net it has helped us reinvest into the business and then also it helped us shave off a significant amount of debt last year yeah so all in all eBay is a great place to potentially whether it's full-time or part-time make some extra cash There are plenty of pros for selling on eBay. And one of the things that we like is eBay is an international platform. So you are not limited to only selling in the States. Yeah, so eBay has a special program within eBay itself called GSP, Global Shipping Program. And what's great about that is it allows you to, at low risk, ship and sell internationally. Um, which is great because the way that system works is if somebody in say Australia purchased the an item from you you will ship it to eBay's international distribution center which is in Kentucky and then they take care of the international shipping from there so really is an easy way for you to reach people around the world without having to fill out the extra international shipping paperwork. Yeah. But you can also go that route because I think the fees for the buyer is slightly lower if you do the international shipping yourself. But that is definitely a perk to eBay is how much broader your audience is yeah. all around the world. And really, we looked it up around the world. eBay has, I believe, what was it? 182 million users. Yeah, and that's combined sellers and buyers, but that's a lot of people, that's a lot of eyes potentially looking for a product that you have at your house. And another thing that we found was, I believe 34.9% of all mobile users are on eBay. Yeah, on the US. So, yeah. I mean, again, that's a great amount, that's a just great amount of people possibly able to buy your item if you're on ebay you can pretty much sell anything yeah. from used clothes to a uh, car even yeah. a house oh yeah you can sell a house on there um there is very limited items of things that you cannot sell i think there's like a list out there yeah there is a list it is called the vero list and they have at, you can find that in uh ebay but we have sold 
uh, empty toilet paper rolls. We've In the beginning, just to see what we could sell. Uh, we've sold used kitchen appliances, parts, um, game pieces, clothes, yeah. shoes, toys. Car parts. Uh, ooh, the printer booklets and um, what oh, are those yeah, called? Oh yeah, all the software that goes with uh, old printers. Yeah, so if you buy a printer and there's all these extra pieces that you don't want or need, you could sell those on eBay too. Yeah. Lowering the cost of your printer. <laughs> scalability. Yeah, scalability. Yeah. eBay allows you to really grow as big as you want because you can be a hobby seller and have five things that you possibly sell a year because you have them or you collect them. Or you could really step in there and turn this into a business for yourself and scale up to some stores have thousands and tens of thousands of items in their shop. That's also another pro to selling on eBay is you have different options when it comes to your subscription. So if you are only a hobby seller and you only plan on selling five items a year, you can just list those five items without paying for a store subscription. If you want to increase your listings, you can choose from one of their many options and possibly lower your seller fees. Yeah, and along with those uh, subscriptions to stores, depends which one you get, um, you still get you get access to running sales, just like a regular store, brick and mortar. You'll be able to run sales, you have promotions you can do. Uh, so again, different ways to really push your items. Yeah, so you can do like a promotion per item. You can do a sale on your entire store to keep it simple and just do 10% off my entire store. And that will give you a extra little badge on your item so that the buyer knows that this item is on sale. Yeah, and then speaking of badges, eBay has a seller Top rated seller. There you go, top rated uh, seller badge. And that's because eBay does do their best to keep sellers accountable. Which means you can step in and really perform at your best and if somebody does it, you stand out. It's like getting the little star on your test in school when you did well. So, and it's actually a star. You do get stars too. Feedback is important. Mm -hmm. You got a lot of stars in school, didn't you? Maybe. And it gets stars. Um, oh, also, when we first started selling, he was all mobile, and I didn't like selling on the phone. I didn't like using the app to list, so I switched over to desktop. And he continued on the phone. And that's a pro to eBay. You have mobile options and you have the desktop option. And you can go back and forth or just use whichever one you prefer. So eBay's customer service, we've really only had good encounters with it. Uh, they actually have a functioning customer service line. So if you have issues with a buyer, with an item, with shipping, whatever it is, you can call their customer service number and someone will actually pick up and try to resolve the issue. Yeah, it's real helpful and there's different reasons you might call something's wrong with their own listing or you have an issue with the buyer, uh, possible return, anything, you can just call them up and they'll do their best to help you and you get a person. Which is, yes, and it it's different. not an automated response. Yeah. Um, and and you got chat? Yeah, so right now that we're all kind of stuck at home, uh, they have chat options available for eBay. So we were having some issues with the return and we messaged them through their online system and we got an actual person typing back and answering our questions and resolve the issue within 30 minutes. Yeah. So again, different ways of getting to them. So if you know, you don't have access to calling, your house is too loud, you can still get help. Which again, when you're doing something like reselling on a platform that might be new to you or you're trying to grow your business you really want the most support you can and well that's a great way mm -hmm. so moving on to the cons of selling on ebay because there's definitely cons, some cons yeah. <laughs> including cons like scammers yeah i'd say that's a con that is a definite con uh if you are new to ebay 
you might get some messages from people asking for your private email, um, contact them by their personal phone, phone number. number, text them, or sometimes they'll request an invoice outside of eBay. Mm -hmm. All these are scams for different reasons. First, you transfer information you might not want to. Uh, second, eBay, part of their user agreement is all sales and communication is on the platform. What that means is if you start communicating outside, eBay will recognize that you're doing that and then you could even get suspended before you even get a sale out. Yep. So if you're new to the platform, just be wary of those kinds of messages or if someone is trying to offer you more than the item's price point. So if you have something listed at 20 and someone's making you a $30 offer. Yeah, sounds a, great. Too good to be true. Because it probably is. And this isn't for like an auction. This is for a fixed listing that you have yeah. at $20 where normally a buyer would offer under the asking price. If they're offering you more, chances are they're trying to scam you. Yeah. And like we said about earlier, customer service, if at any point you feel something is fishy, just check it out. Call in, message, chat, and ask somebody on the other side. Okay, so we offer free returns on eBay. And we have our different reasons for offering free returns. One of them, which is a definite con, especially if you don't offer returns. Returns are imminent. And you can be a seller who says no returns are offered, but if the buyer opens an INAD, otherwise I, known as- Item not as described. Yes. That means that they can still return your item because it would technically be your fault since the item was not as described and you would be forced to take the return. Yeah, and yes, you could argue when you get that item back and you could go through the whole process. It's doable to even fight that. But the reality is the con is no matter what, you are gonna have to at one point take a return that you don't want to take. Mm -hmm. So I mean that is definitely an... a con. Uh, fees. You have to really pay attention to the fees in your store because you will have you get your shipping fees, you have your eBay fees, you have PayPal fees, which are now gonna go yeah, just slowly. eBay. Yeah, eBay. So even that's gonna change. Uh, um, also, when you're creating your listings, the way that eBay has their template set up for creating listings, there are little check boxes that you can click on to enhance your title. That comes as an extra fee. So if you accidentally click that box and bold in your title, you could get charged an additional fee. Yeah. If you check the a box for- Additional pictures. That's an extra fee. And there's also a way to add a second line to your title. Extra fee. If you- Schedule it. Schedule your listing to um, premiere in advance, that is an extra fee. Yeah. So in the beginning when we were first listing, when I was first listing on the desktop, I would go through really quickly and accidentally click the bold title box. And I think it was like a $4 fee. Or yeah, which again, if you do that on a $2,000 item, $4 is okay. We were doing it on like $12 items. So by the time we shipped it out and wrapped it up and took out all of these, we made like $2. Yeah, don't bold your titles. <laughs> don't accidentally bold your titles. Um, shipping, I don't ship. So shipping can be difficult. So at first I made plenty of mistakes shipping for eBay. It's very easy to make a mistake, which is also a good thing you quickly learn, especially when it costs you money. But that is definitely a con is there's no straightforward way of just shipping on eBay. You're gonna have to figure it out, weighing items, going through the proper uh, flat rates or priority rates. First FedEx. class, standard, yeah, parcel. Yeah, it sounds like a lot, but it's doable. And once you get the hang of it, it's a breeze. But that's definitely a con that I, as a new seller on eBay found, um, because when you're clicking on your shipping options, the bar of options is super long. Yeah. And it's 
kind of tricky knowing which one you should be selecting because whatever you select as your shipping option, that's the one you kind of have to stick with at a minimum Yeah. when you're shipping to your so buyer. Example, if you, uh, in your listing, say you're gonna ship something priority because that's what you clicked, priority. You didn't really think about it. But when the item uh, is ready to be shipped, it's under a pound, you can ship it first class. It doesn't matter, you're gonna have to ship it priority because that's what you labeled it. Mm -hmm. So you do have to learn the shipping policies and the USPS chart to understand how much weight goes per category. Yeah. Um, listing can be very daunting on eBay, which is why for the beginning of our eBay journey, he did all the listings and I just drafted. Yeah, and to be honest, when I was doing that and she drafted, there was even less options at the time for mm -hmm. eBay. Since then, we have so many more, what do you call them, not presets. Item specific. Yes, item specific. So when you're listing on eBay, you have to do obviously the title, but you have to fill out a description box. There's areas to show new, use, a UPC code. You're putting in pictures. You have a ton of item specifics to click on. Yeah. A bunch of drop boxes and drop menus and... I mean, for example, if you have a pair of jeans, you will go through and say what brand. You could even be selecting what year. You can select the cut, the wash. The, the... inseam. Yeah, just yeah. tons of it. You don't have to fill them all out. But, but it's it's like filling out I don't know like a lot like an application for something. Yeah, I mean the more you fill out the better it is, but you're gonna have to fill out correctly. So at the end of it all, it's up to you if you feel comfortable selling on the platform. But eBay is a great place to really get a lot of eyes on your items. Mm -hmm. Definitely more pros than cons, and the cons are really just learning curves. Exactly. Because once you learn the things that we said were cons they're not really cons anymore yeah things will always happen and you know it's part of business and that's just a saying everyone says when something goes wrong but really it's part of business uh but and you have to make mistakes to learn from them mm -hmm. so we've definitely made our share of mistakes in the con section regarding listing and shipping um and fees and fees oh yeah but again it's up to you and that's the beauty of ebay it's as big or as small as you want it to be. Yep. And it's a really good way to make some extra income or even make it your full-time income if that's what you're interested in. Yeah. And with that, hope this helped. And see you later. Bye-bye. I see them. Stop. I earned these crow feet. Crow ankles? Crow's feet. Sure. <laughs> Don't do it on purpose! <laughs>